Let's talk a little bit more about heel pain syndrome because really it's not just plantar fasciitis that we've seen uh, that causes heel pain. We need to be starting to think about the tarsal tunnel, the tibial nerve, the Baxter's nerve, the medial and lateral calcaneal nerve, but also, you know, fat pad atrophy, fat pad inflammation. You know, we're not just looking on this medial aspect, we're also starting to think about what's happening on the lateral aspect and, you know, where some attributions to the sural nerve may be affecting us as well. Now, when we start talking about heel pain syndrome, definitely getting a clear diagnosis is really important so that we can target things most appropriately. But once we've got that and we start thinking, okay, maybe lift off prolotherapy is one of those options, let's have a bit of a chat about where we're going to go with that. Initially, our patients are pretty comfortable just sitting there and I would sort of push out the leg or um, pull it in depending on which side that I'm going to go on. And most people are pretty comfortable in that type of uh, position. When we start talking about where we're going to be hitting, obviously this medial aspect's going to be a really big part, but it's very uh, specific condition dependent, but very commonly I am hitting most of these stars as I've got on our model here today. Um, really definitely around that posterior medial malleolus, coming down potentially towards some of our calcaneal nerves, um, but also around that Baxter's nice and deep, and then nice and deep into that tarsal tunnel as well. Now these are the sort of common spots that I'm typically going to hit even if they're not necessarily painful because I know that people do get a much better response um, once we do find uh, these spots and we start treating them. In saying that, patients do typically have pain here when we're doing our very light sort of movement. But of course, coming up our leg, some people will have a little bit more anterior, others posterior, uh, and these are the aspects that we're looking at. Very commonly I'm wanting to hit that Baxter's nerve area because even if it's not necessarily sensitive locally, there can be a lot of sort of lateral pain. Now, where I want to really make sure that we're not missing is that sort of lateral plantar fascia as it comes to the styloid. Sometimes with some perineal brevis uh, insertional tendinopathy, but really, you know, as we're getting those attributing nerves coming up. But then also let's not forget our lateral calcaneal pain, particularly if we've got some lateral overload there. It's not just Baxter's that may be implicated in that aspect. And then of course, as we're coming up, let's not forget uh, each of our bifurcations and potentially the calcaneal nerve nerves as I've mentioned there. Now after each of these I always do a really nice stirrup hyperfix taping because people do straight away get up and they go yeah that feels so much better with it. Um, in combination with the lift doc prolotherapy much better. Typically uh, patients do find this uh, res they respond quite quickly to this type of thing. Um, I've had quite a few patients of late with regards to some lateral plantar fasciopathy um, who just respond really nicely even just to an lateral approach. Um, you know, if it's only medial sort of arch pain, you know, typical plantar fasciitis with or without sort of that heel pad inflammation or atrophy, then that's where you can just do a medial approach. You don't need to worry about the lateral. If it's not very nervy, then there's no need to be considering, um, you know, all of those sort of aspects in a broader approach. But what I would say is, you know, most people are going to sort of find the next day is going to be a bit better, but do remember, you know, if it's lasting that three to five days, great, let's get them back in. These patients are typically going to need several sets and it's close to uh, several treatments and it is closer to the five than the three typically. The other thing that I'd say is, you know, definitely making sure that we're loading the patient more appropriately. You know, the orthotics, um, you know, or padding into the shoes being really important. You know, think about our intrinsic strengthening, our heel raises, um, you know, the laser therapy, but also do give the patient that option of a corticosteroid injection early. And I always do say that um, when I first see patients and say, you know, really we can reduce your pain quite quickly if you would like that, but we do need to put other things into place to make sure that you're more comfortable. Another option is lift doc prolotherapy, and then we can go into discussing that as well. A lot of patients are pretty comfortable um, having a bit of a chat about this. Some patients just don't want steroids, as we all know. Um, but, you know, lift doc prolotherapy on this type of thing. Um, in this case, we're not necessarily targeting the uh, plantar fascia, but of course, with our 15% dextrose, we may uh, put a little bit around that area as well. But for the moment, this has been heel pain syndrome. Cheers.